What's up guys, it's Fox with Los Brito Gaming, and today I want to talk to you guys about Fallout 76. They gave us gameplay for it last night, and I'm excited as hell for it. But today I'm going to be going over the weapons that you were able to see in the trailers and gameplay that they showed off. And there's a good number of them, so might as well get right into it. The first one that didn't make an appearance that I know of, except for on the pre-order page for Amazon, is the 10 millimeter pistol but you honestly expected that didn't you next up we have the fire axe which is shown in, sep in several different game clips you can see several characters carrying it uh with several different uh, modifications for it next up is the hatchet which was shown in one of the little cartoony sections but is also confirmed on the same amazon page as the 10 millimeter pistol Next up is but the shish kebab, which wasn't shown in gameplay, so but in, it was shown in one of the cartoon come, sections. Our way of life. Then, coming in s shockingly, which I wasn't really expecting, was the MG42, the light machine gun that you saw in several of the game clips. I wasn't expecting to see a German World War II machine gun in any Fallout game, I'm just going to say that now. Stick it to the theme of machine guns we have the browning m250 caliber machine gun which you can see one of the power armor wearers carrying in some of the game clips it's another gun i really wasn't expecting i think it's gonna pack a mean kick then we have the odd crank weapon that one of the other power arm users was carrying i'm not sure what exactly this thing is it might be like a odd version of the junk jet which is what it kind of reminds me of. And the fallout has settled. Next up we have the assault rifle from Fallout 4 not just in the walls, same style with the water cool jacket on it. But hearts. I don't know, I never really liked the style of it, but I, it looked more like a light machine gun to me than an assault rifle. Then we have the gauze rifle from previous Fallout games. The style's coming back from Fallout 4 where you have to actually charge it up to fire it. begins. Then we have the missile launcher, which wasn't shown very much, but it was shown when the PvP section was on display. And the PvP is not something I'm going to too keenly partake in, because I, you know that there's going to be somebody that's going to be standing there with a full suit of power armor and a fat man. Next we have the 44 Magnum Revolver, a personal favorite of mine. Uh, it was shown in one of the game clips where it was showing off the screen, and the ability to take a picture. We have various different pipe weapons that are returning from Fallout 4, such as the pipe pistol, the pipe rifle, and the pipe revolvers. Then, we have got the hunting rifle and the sniper rifle. Same rifle, just different modifications change the name. You can't have a Fallout game without that, let's be honest. And then we have this new carbine. I'm not too sure what the hell this thing is. But I'm going. I'm calling it a carbine because it looks like it's firing a little pistol ammunition. But it doesn't look like anything we've seen yet. So I'm going with the carbine. Next we have the combat shotgun, which is returning from Fallout 4 and Fallout 3. The double-barreled shotgun, which is a good starting weapon, as well as. <laughs> The final gun that I was, that I saw, which was the funniest thing I've seen in a while for a Fallout game, the flintlock pistol. Just decimates the guy they're shooting at. I'm going from there. Now those are the guns that I saw, the weapons that I've seen throughout the little gameplay sections that they showed us. The other thing that I wanted to, to note was that new power armor. There was one person, the one with the Browning M2, he was in a full suit of brand new power armor that we have not seen yet. Um, a lot of people are saying it could be construction power armor, which would be interesting, because there was actually a mod for that upon Fallout 4's release that added in construction power armor, which was pretty cool. It looked almost like a T60, but it, at the same time, some of the different parts didn't look quite right. But, those are the weapons that I was able to find in the trailers. 
If you guys like what you see, leave a like, leave a comment below. I am going to be picking this game up as well as the 80 up, other games that are coming out Not for freaking from E3. So That's an exaggeration. It's mostly going to be together. Fallout. Fallout 76, the alone, Red Dead 2, friends, and Battlefield 5. Will be with so expect activity. to see gameplay in the future. I'm really excited for all these games. I hope you are too. Don't forget to get, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I keep fucking that up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things that come out on my channel. Hit the little bell icon just so you can get notifications because you know how YouTube is. They're screwy recently. And I'll see you guys in the next one.